Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'll show you a couple more updates on my solar system. I did the batteries not long ago. Did that little video, everybody remembers that. So a couple other changes I've done since then is I've put the two new panels on the bottom here. So that gives me eight panels there. And then I'm working on another deal up on top there. You can see that. Um, I'm getting ready to do some more changing around. I added in another bigger solar charger. And um, so I've got, <clears throat> got that rack I'm putting up there, which is some old pallet racking actually. But <clears throat> I'm going to be bolting that down. It's 12 feet tall. And, uh, and that will um, that'll allow me to hang these two panels here that you see, because those need to be higher in the air. And also have one more of those that I'm going to put on there. So I'll give me three of those. Those are 330 watt panels. So almost a thousand watts of panels that'll be on that rack right there. I was facing a little bit different direction uh, to catch morning sun and uh, early day sun. The others will catch midday and late day sun. So there's quite a bit of advantage in being able to pick up some of the other sun too. So, so anyway, um, that's the... That's part of the changes there. I'll go inside and show you some of the other changes. All right, we'll cover some of the uh, inside updates I've done since the last video too. So what you see here is the uh, my old uh, charge controller. This is a 30 amp charge controller. So now we upgraded to this one, which is a 100 amp charge controller. So that'll be a, that'll be a big change. So that's what the uh, rack is going up out there for, is to move the two solar panels up and add a third one to it, uh, which will give me roughly a thousand watts of power there. Um, so I had to have a bigger, a bigger charge controller, so that was the purpose of that. So this is a 100 amp one. This also is a 100 amp one now. So, so it gives me, um, when I get the other panels up there, it'll give me about uh, four kilowatts of um, solar out there. So. Not a ton, but I think it's enough for me. So a couple other things I did in here too, um, since my last video was, um, I put up the, took the 2000 watt inverter out, put the 3000 watt inverter up and shut the battery charger off in that. And the reason for that is um, when you're, that has a 70 amp charge, 70, yeah, 70 amp charger in it or 75. And when you're running that, and, and generators running and charging, if you turn on anything like the microwave, it adds to that draw that you're already making. So it'll be the 70 amps that that's charging plus whatever else you turn on that's already 110 because any when a generator is running, any 110 power bypasses um, that and goes straight to the straight to the generator. So <clears throat> so you can um, you can actually overload it and trip the circuit on the generator. So. Uh, so that now is shut off, and I have put in uh, three additional small chargers here. Um, I really wasn't aware I could do that in the past. Um, Rob at Kamudge Inn had enlightened me that you could do that. And um, so now I have two 50 amp chargers, which is those right there. And then up here, that one right there is an 85 amp charger. The 85 amp is variable. So I can go from zero to 85 amps. And the reason for that is the reason I wanted that one is for one, it gives me a backup in case one of the others quit, but I can also, uh, my generator will handle more charging than, than the, than the hundred amp charger, the 250 amp chargers. Um, so, so if I'm running generator, I might as well get all I can get. So, so one of my little generators, I can run, charge at about 130 amps. Um, and then of course I can turn it on up if I need to. So, um, so that's pretty nice to be able to charge my batteries up faster whenever I, whenever I need that. So, so that'll be a, that's a, a real nice addition there. But the, the solar upgrades really right now is the, the biggest ones. The, the part outside is kind of weather dependent. You know, we're getting a little, little rain and, little snow today so before I start drilling through the roof on my Connex I'd like to have it dry so I can make sure I can seal all the holes up and um, prevent any leaks 
um, from doing that. So I'm anxious to get that mounted and get the other panels moved to be able to have more solar. But in the meantime, you know, I've got enough battery power here, um, you know, 26,000 watts of, of available battery power. So I can literally go for, for several days um, without any sun. So it's kind of nice, but my, um, I showed it before, but my Power Queen, Power Queen batteries, um, six 300 amp batteries. So that is a lot of, um, a lot of power and um, it's pretty nice now that I don't have to worry about getting up and looking at my looking at my um, batteries every day to see where my charge is so I just don't really have to worry about it like right now I'm actually running the uh, doing a load of laundry a washer and dryer running and uh, no generator running or anything so that's kind of a it's kind of nice to be able to do that so anyway you start learning to uh, I like some of the luxuries again and with if you get enough battery power you can you can enjoy some of them without having to worry about running a generator so the next update we have will be on um, Tyler's new system because Tyler just did a complete upgrade on his um, and that's how I got that charger inverter there uh, that's one Tyler had and he took it out gave it to me and he changed his whole system over to a 48 volt system so we'll uh, I'll do a video on that. It's a, it's pretty nice. So, um, don't look quite as cluttered up as this one does. It's a nice, clean-looking system. So, anyway, that'll be the next video. Thanks for watching.